What's up, Garuk? My name is Kadre DS, and today I'm going to talk to you about the overhead press and a couple different ways to set you up for success when you're pressing either a ruck or a sandbag with two arms or one arm up overhead. So I've started off today, uh, I took off the Mac feed ones to show you the foot position, okay? Starting off with a good base is gonna be huge. So my feet are gonna be just under my hips or under my shoulders, okay? But a good base sets you up for success. I'm gonna keep my toes straight and the majority of the weight is gonna be back in my heels. So I should be able to lift up my big toes to keep the weight in the heels. Now, if I'm just doing a regular strict press, I wanna keep my quads engaged, abs tight, glutes squeezed, and keep my rib cage packed down as I press up overhead. That's gonna set you up for stability when the weight gets a little shaky overhead since we're dealing with uneven objects. So, good base, squeezing everything underneath, and then when we go to do a strict press with our ruck, you're just gonna squeeze everything, keeping your elbows just slightly forward, head back, and press in a straight line up overhead, okay? That's gonna be the strict press. Now, if the weight gets a little heavier, the dip to a push press is gonna help you transfer some of that energy from your hips into the overhead position. So what that's gonna look like with no weight is a dip, press, dip, and notice my knees go slightly out, okay? So if your feet are forward, knees track slightly to the outside, that allows your glutes to engage and then fire that weight up, okay? Let's watch it one time with the ruck and then we'll move on to the sandbag. So we set, dip, press, dip, press, dip, press. We wanna load with the hips and then drive up hard overhead. Nothing is gonna change when we go to the sandbag. Maybe our hand positioning is though. So feet are gonna be in that same under the hip position. If I can do it strict, great. That's gonna build some upper body strength. But if I'm doing a lot of reps, I'm probably gonna get a little dip so my little shoulders aren't gassed out. So we'll see a couple strict press and then we'll move into the push press. So we'll get it up to the shoulders. I like to use the neutral handles in this position. Notice my elbows are forward of the weight. I'm gonna strict press, keeping my abs engaged. I'm not overextending here, but squeezing the butt underneath. Breathe, hold, press. Notice the elbow position is slightly in front. We don't wanna drop down and press from way down here. That's like an extra foot of pressing. So bring that weight up, hold, head back down the way, and press overhead. Then the push press. Dip, transfer that energy. Dip, drive. Dip, drive. Dip, drive. Guys, have fun with the press. Focus on keeping your chest upright in that dip and driving up, locking out overhead. Practice this a lot. Work on the mobility if you need to. Loosen up the chest, lats thoracic spine and triceps to get yourself in a better position. As always, train this one frequently to build up an upper body and keep training.